Hello YouTube, welcome to Just Cause 1. This is a uh, this is a playthrough video. This is a playthrough video episode 1. I'm going to play through the entire game. And an interesting part, I'm going to get it to 100% completion, something I've never done before. This will be my third play play playthrough playthrough of the game. And uh, I'm going to do some stuff that I've never done before, like the races. I love this game. I've never done one of the races in the game in my life. So, so alright, this is Just Cause 1. I'm going to play through the game. It's going to be fun. And I'm going to start a new game. This is where the fun begins. Welcome to the first mission, Devil's Drop Zone. That's the name. We have a checkpoint. And uh, I have my two guns. So, uh, I'm going to have to shut up, Tom Sheldon. I'm going to have to, uh, parachute to the beach that's right there. See? See that beach? I'm shooting at it. It's right there. Okay. I need to meet with Sheldon and El Rosario. Oh no, there's the water. Take this up for a living. What did you just say? I don't know what he just said. Combat control, shut up. Meow, air sh- Air I could just, uh, Stay up here, right? Look at this. Oh no, gravity. Gravity, stop being a jerk. I gotta pick up some weapons. Uh, ready, P94, Scarab, a submachine gun. These are military cutler bullhorns. I did a Law Enforcement Chronicles video on these because these are great and I have one. Nice little uh, military marked van. It's fun. So yeah. I'm going to use my default. Uh, here comes the third van. There are three cutler bullhorns in this, so, and they each have, like, four guys in them. Alright, done! We fought all the enemies on the beach, and I got so many, uh, scarab rounds. Look, I'm full on ammo. I'm full on ready P94? Am I full on them already? I, maybe, maybe I am. Okay, so this is the military cutler bullhorn. This is, uh, that's, uh, that's a discussion for another video, which I have made. I have made that video. <laughs> Alright, I have to man the mounted gun on the back of the MV. And now I have to shoot things, like him. I need to shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him. Shooting him, shooting him, shooting him. He's dead. Go the gas station. Blow up the gas station. I shot. Okay, now I have to shoot more things, like him. Uh, this is the part where you shoot things. Why is there always a part when you're on a vehicle that you can't control and you're shooting things? It's weird. So, uh, I don't know. Where's the next thing to shoot? Is it gonna be the left or the right? Where is it? I think it's the left, right? Yep, it's the left. Oh, there are more guys. Stop. One of the great things I like about this game, sort of, is that uh, you have the uh, target lock, like that, see, you have the targeting lock mechanic, but you can't turn it off. So that's the only thing I don't like about this game, is that you can't turn that off. So, I'm gonna blow up a red barrel. No, I didn't hit it. No, I didn't. No, no I didn't. Okay. Ooh, look, why don't you just drive right past the tiny unmarked military base? Brilliant idea, Tom Sheldon. Okay, just right thing, there we go. And then he gets uh, blown off into space. That's great. Okay, so, all more red barrels. Shoot the red barrels, and yep. <laughs> Alright, now we are at uh, the roadblock portion, which is when you get out of the Humvee. You cannot use vehicle. I'm sure I can use the mounted gun. That makes sense. Why do you turn the vehicle around? I'll shoot all the guys. See, because there's six guys there. And they're not shooting at me. Interesting. Why are they not shooting at me? Shouldn't they be shooting at me? Right? What the heck is. Oh, now they're shooting at me! Ugh. Now the shooting at me, shoot back, shoot back, shooting back, shooting back. Oh, by the way, if you see my aim mode flicker, uh, like that, sort of, hang on, wait. If you see my, if you see my aim mode flicker a little, a little bit, alright, all the guys are dead. If you see my aim mode flicker a little bit, like, uh, see, yeah, like that a little bit, it's because my mouse is crap and I need a new one and the right click isn't all that sensitive. <laughs> So, who more red barrels? I'm gonna get to shoot the red barrels? Sweet, shot the red barrels. Now the red block is clear, and now I have to go back to the MV. Really, really wish they, uh, uh dropped some health. That would have been great. I don't think they do, so. Alright, so. Oop! Over the sandbags. Music intensifies again. Back to shooting people! There's the next round of people to shoot. There they are. Oh, now we're on a bridge. Now there's nobody to shoot, because we're on a bridge. Where's the next guy to shoot? Left or right? I don't remember. Oh, I, I think it's left. I think it's left, right? You gonna come up the cliff? Maybe? 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 Yeah, as a matter of fact, we just had to get down the cliff. Yeah, there he is. There we go. Oh, I took out the mounted gunner. Nice. Is there a Triton Broadsider on the sea? There is! There is. So for some reason, the Triton Broadsider is just randomly in, in the water. 
during this mission. I don't know why. I never noticed that before. And he despawned. Hey, look, he just appeared out of nowhere. That's interesting. That's how the pursuers uh, appear. Okay, where's the. Uh, Alright, find the helicopter. Shooting the helicopter. Helicopters are evil and dangerous. Helicopters are evil. Alright, you know what's weird about this aim mode? It's locked on to the Jeep itself instead of the mounted gunner, so I can't shoot the mounted gunner first so he doesn't shoot at me. I need to destroy the entire Jeep. So, that's one of the downsides of this aim mode. Oh, one more helicopter. We gotta shoot the helicopter. Find it! There it is! Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! That was close. He shot a pole! I shot! <laughs> he shot a pole! That was a good shot. Meanwhile, dialogue, by the way, he's calling in an airstrike. So. Oh, wait. There nobody, there's nobody left to shoot. <laughs> I shot all the guys, there's nobody left in the air aircraft to shoot. Yeah. All they did was just blow up a random bridge. It was like target practice. Oh, well that's something for the trivia section of this mission. <laughs> well, the bridge randomly exploded a second and a third time and a fourth time. Why is the bridge exploding so much? Mission complete! Do I wish to save? No, I'll do that off screen. Oh, this is the safe house tutorial. Use garages to keep your best vehicle safe. Yeah, I know how to use garages. Use ammo crates to restock ammo, know how to do that, know how to do everything in this tutorial, I want you to shut up. You know, through the power of editing, you won't have to sit through this, but I will, so. Alright, so that was the first mission, Devil's Drop Zone. And, uh, restock ammo. I don't have any grenades. I got grenades like mission two, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I do. I don't remember when I get grenades. When do I get grenades? I don't know. You don't start out with grenades, though, that's the point. So anyway, that was uh, episode one of this. There's a couple things I want to say. My channel has been dormant for two months because I've been doing stuff for two months. And I haven't uh, had any available time to uh, work on my channel. I just hop on the roof. It's fine. I'm floating. Was I floating a second? Yeah. Yeah, I'm floating. <laughs> yeah, I'm floating. That's weird. Anyway. So yeah, I've been doing that. But now the videos are going to be back in full force. I'm going to be doing like three a day or at least trying to. Maybe doing some stuff. Going to finish some stuff and all the, all the everything. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. My channel has returned, gentlemen. Thank you for watching, my name's Houston, and goodbye, YouTube!